Look, I don't give a fuck about nothing. Y'all can say what the fuck y'all want, call me a thought or whatever. I'm still able to walk outside. I could, bitches could actually recover from being hoes. If y'all really want to do that, can anybody actually recover from being a rat? I see bitches do it all the time. Look, Black China good, Amber Rose good, fuck out of here. Y'all ain't telling me nothing. You can't tell those bitches nothing too, because look at their bank accounts. Switched up on 6 9 Hey, listen, if you want that type of analysis, go to another page. If you think this is about one team or another, if you think that's what we're doing on this Instagram, go to another page. Go to Academics page, right? That's where you'll get that. You'll get a steady stream of, oh, is this the hottest chain in the game? Oh, is this gangster? You'll get the culture that, that a lot of this, they want to sell you, all right? Go, go to Academics page. You could get that booth pack type of post. We're not doing that here, all right? We're going to call out the bullshit when we see the bullshit. And if 6 9 is talking nonsense, which he is, we're going to call it nonsense, right? This is a guy, look how he's moving. Yeah, right now, you're just getting a steady stream of what he wants you to see, which is all boof. Uh, he got His location got exposed again. Yeah, he parked his collection of rainbow exotic cars right on the street, right facing front where you could see them from the street. You think that's real? This, these are all trolls. Go get that boof pack from Academics page. Don't come around here. We do the real. Meek Mill is coming for Takashi 69 Friendly piece of advice, Meek. This kid could end your career. Put aside. You could be the next job rule. Put aside your opinions. Put aside what team you're on. Just look at the numbers. When Takashi 69 made his comeback, people turned out and tuned in like never before. The industry took notice like never before. And if a rapper like Meek Mill tries to battle Takashi 69 the numbers are going to break records again. Listen, Meek, I know you want to save the culture, but here's a little hard dose of reality for you. The culture is what it is. It accepts 6 9 It's as fake as it is because of people like you. Yeah, people like you who won. The Jay-Zs, the Puff Daddies, y'all won, y'all cashed out, and y'all are not really in the streets. No, you're hanging out with Michael Rubin, billionaires who really are the modern-day oppressors, and they're your best buddies. So the culture has turned its back on you and embraced Takashi because you're a sellout. And this is the same thing we saw with the Donald Trump election. The Democrats sold out poor folks, so poor folks showed up for Donald Trump. And y'all in your state-run media like Meek Mill think you're going to win, and you go and you run, and people like Takashi 69 and Donald Trump are going to roll. Six Nine is doing huge numbers. Number one on Apple Music, he broke the YouTube record. He's probably going to when, as, continue to do this as this keeps going. And the reason why is because his story is so controversial. Look at what happened yesterday. His neighbor, a white girl, posts a picture that, oh, shit, this is where he lives. People start flocking to his house. He has to call the government. The government didn't move him. He called the government and said, hey, is it okay if I move? Because he's looking out for himself. He's not in witness protection. But look at what all that did. Look at the controversy it spiked. Look at the public interest. What it did is it didn't just bring back old fans. It brought in a lot of new people who were like, hey, what's this? What's going on? They start following him. They start adding to views. And in the world today, there's just always more people you could go after. And he's going to do that. And he's going to continue to get big. And we got to ask ourselves, when are we going to stop falling for controversy? When are we going to start being fans of something substantive? Why do we just go for the controversial shit? Why do we go for the Trumps and the Takashis? When are we going to go for the real? So like what, about one hour after a 16-year-old white girl at her daddy's Hamptons beach house posts a video of you, you have to relocate? You got to sell your house, move to a new house? That's that's real King of New York shit, fam. Definitely. People saying I'm mad that Takashi 69 had the, his comeback. He's saying it himself, right? Oh, my haters, y'all big mad, bro. I'm not mad at Takashi 69. If anything, I feel sorry for Takashi 69, a kid who had everything, the greatest career ahead of him, and it turned into this, which is a mess. What I am mad at, though, I will agree, and he's right. I'm, I'm mad at the algorithm. See, the algorithm, you guys don't understand, is very important in our life. It dictates who's winning. It dictates what's hot, what's up. And I believe in the algorithm, actually. I think social media is this incredibly powerful tool where people can put out messages and people can put out ideas and we can together decide what's hot. But right now, the algorithm is doing something very interesting. It's deciding things like Donald Trump are hot. People who say one thing completely lie to you and somehow win your trust. Takashi 69 is another example. People who say one thing completely lie to you, somehow win your trust. And then and then we reward them again. What's it say about us?
to go back for. Hey guys, how y'all feeling today, man? Thank y'all for tuning in to me on a regular basis, man. Being there, Charlie, man. We got the clothing brand popping right now, man. Being there, Charlie style, man. If you support us, man, me and the family, man, just don't. So if you support us all the way, y'all, go out there, go cock y'all that being there style, man. We got a mean drip on it, man. You know what I'm saying? We about to have the sweatsuits and everything ready for y'all, man. This is not I mean. You got to get your drip game on, man. Being there status, man. You feel me? Being there, Charlie, all the way, man. Instagram, Facebook, everybody that know about being there, Charlie, man. And that's want to rock with the being there style, you know what I'm saying? My clothing brand. Hit the links, man. Come over there to YouTube or Facebook. Click them links and go shopping with us, man. We got an Instagram page up now. We're showing all our designs we're putting together, man. Putting in that pain, putting in that hard work, man. The dedication, man. You know what I'm saying? Being the billionaire, it come with hard work, man. And when you're willing to they do the sacrifice and put in the work, you're going to get there. See what Kanye said? They thought he was a joke. You know what I'm saying? You got to believe in yourself first. You did? Love y'all. How y'all doing today, man? Y'all back tuning to, to your boy, being there, Charlie, man. I am being there, Charlie, and I appreciate everybody that's been tuning in to me on the YouTube channel. I thank y'all for following me, man, and I welcome y'all, man, to the channel, being there, Charlie. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, man, that Patreon, all the people that pledge to me, man. Remember, man, once you pledge to me, you put in your dollar donation, we're going to start sending y'all salt crystals, t-shirts and things of that nature man we're gonna begin to open up the revenue and begin to just reward all the people that's been supporting the channel man i thank all of y'all out there i love y'all man and we connect on a deeper level man i appreciate everything man justice for nip is what we're searching for man and we're gonna keep finding information to put out there to the public to let them know what was the whole situation that was going on and just allow everybody to understand. I'm going to begin to bring more and more information to you, ladies and gentlemen, man. And we just appreciate all the donations and things that are coming in, man. Just remember, man, it's for a greater and better cause, man. Great situation, man. I thank y'all, man. I appreciate y'all pledging to the channel, man, the Patriot, man. We are a team. We are a family, man. And I just love all the support that y'all been giving me, man. And we're growing and growing as a family, man. But just know, everything that you donate to the channel is going to go to a great cause and making this process a lot better and more professional. And that's the way we're trying to go each and every time, man. But remember, I am being there, Charlie, man. I thank y'all for tuning in to me and showing me support and love, man. And I'm going to give it right back to you. Thank y'all. Have a wonderful an amazing day. Hey guys, we need y'all help. Please donate to Cash Tag Being There, Charlie, to support the family at this time of need, man. We really thank y'all for watching all my videos and supporting me each and every day. And we just ask for your support today. Don't forget to go to the description box and just so continue to support. Hey guys, how y'all feeling today, man? Thank y'all for tuning in to me on a regular basis, man. Being there, Charlie, man. We got the clothing brand popping right now, man. Being there, Charlie style, man. If you support us, man, me and the family, man, just don't. So if you support us all the way, y'all, go out there, go cock y'all that being there style, man. We got a mean drip on it, man. You know what I'm saying? We about to have the sweatsuits and everything ready for y'all, man. This is not I mean. You got to get your drip game on, man. Being there status, man. You feel me? Being there, Charlie, all the way, man. Instagram, Facebook, everybody that know about being there, Charlie, man. And that's want to rock with the being there style, you know what I'm saying? My clothing brand. Hit the links, man. Come over there to YouTube or Facebook. Click them links and go shopping with us, man. We got an Instagram page up now. We're showing all our designs we're putting together, man. Putting in that pain, putting in that hard work, man. The dedication, man. You know what I'm saying? Being the billionaire, it come with hard work, man. And when you're willing to they do the sacrifice and then put in the work, you're going to get there. See what